Welcome to today's download. Um, today is going to be, we make it a bit intense. When we talk about this subject right here. <clears throat> Slavery one-on-one. And in this download, I'm going to be breaking down slavery. Where did it originate? What is it? But there's two words of the day I want to understand before we, I want you to uh, take in and download and upload into your life and your, into your mind. Okay? We're going to start this off with basically talking about one thing. What is love? And what is hate? Because this is the basis of slavery. Okay. This is a very touchy and personal subject for me, one, because my astrological program um, is one where I am playing the character of a melanated boy growing up inside the world that I grew up inside. And so I take personal, to, I, this is a very personal subject for me as far as being melanated, my, me being God, playing the character that I'm playing, growing up in, the, in my reality, what I have seen and had to co-relate to as far as slavery and self-hate goes. So, coming up in the situations that I've came up and through, I was blessed enough to have the light in me to not be or stumble upon the obstacles set out as far as color and self-hate. But what I found on my journey is that many others never do overcome the obstacle and the stumbling blocks of self-hate. And I feel that me personally was given this gift of overcoming my obstacles of self-hate to assist and help those like myself with this program, within my reality, I was given the information and knowledge to give, to help my reflection, because it's truly everything is me. So I'm here to spread love and the divine wisdom, which is, the procl which is proclaiming the kingdom of God, which is objective facts. Today, I'm gonna say some things like I always do that's gonna rub people the wrong way. Because the truth hurts. But the truth does not care about your feelings because it's objective. And most people are subjective thinkers and they don't want to think objectively. We have to, like I told you, start to base our lives in facts and not fiction. So today, I'm going to be saying some things that's going to go against a lot of the belief systems that are out there. But it's divine truth. And with that being said, I want to start off with two words. And this might get a little tense, so I'm, I'm warning you right now, I might get a little loud on this one. Why? Because it touches me personally. You know, I, you know, coming up in the world that I've come up in, I come from the hood, which you call the hood, right? We all know what that is. Poverty. I've come from poverty. I was poverty stricken. I was born as a crack baby. Came in as a crack baby. Born in Harlem Hospital. Raised in Rat Wagner, all over New York. Forced to home to force home, seeing everything that happened. And then now, as I collect that information and understand my reality and why it had to happen and why it, it is happening, um, what I see from those that I grew, I grew apart from, and I didn't just grow apart from them or rise above their consciousness to look down upon them. No. I rose above their consciousness to give them my consciousness. Whether they take it or not, I still have a moral responsibility. My purpose here is to actually give that understanding to them more than anybody. I owe those where I come from and came through with my peers, my community, or what you would say as my people, my frequency that I was born into, the culture that I grew up, that I raised above their consciousness now, it is my responsibility to give the divine wisdom to them, whether they take it or not. 
I, I gave it to them. I feel sorry for those that I grew up around. I feel, I feel mercy and pity toward melanated people. Everywhere you go around the globe, and I've been around the globe, we live in poverty. Poverty stricken. Why? Today we're going to answer that question. Why is it, no matter where you go, melanated people are fucked up, messed up, uneducated, living in poverty, high crime. Why? Is it the white man? Is it the government? Is it our oppressor? Is it the slave masters? Or is it ourselves? Today we're gonna to talk about it. Today we're gonna to talk about what is it that created slavery? What is slavery? But before we go into slavery, I just wanted to let you know that I'm from where you're from. I came from the hood, through the hood. I'm a product as far as my character. I'm God. My character is someone from the hood of the hoods. Crack era, born and arrived or logged in to this reality, 82. Crack baby, mom and dad died when I was born. I've been there. I'm, I'm you. I'm from where you from. I know about making popsicles with ice, with the stick in it. I know about Mr. Softy and water guns. I know about playing in the hood, jumping off the dirty mattresses, building clubhouses out of cardboard. I was hip hop, I am hip hop. Not anymore though. I've raised way more further and expanded my mind way more further than these worlds. Where I reside is a world that we all must come to and a mind that we all must come to. And I'm here to assist in that by just giving the information on my social media. But I want you to know I'm from where you're from. I've been through it all, man. I've been through the human experience. Seen it all. Pretty much done it all. It's not much that this being, this character, didn't come to collect, to rise above, to help everyone from everything that I rise above from. I collected that information to help everybody or every reflection of mine from which I came from, especially those that truly need it. And when I say truly need it, I'm talking about the head of humanity. There is only one race when it comes to humanity. That's the human race. There is no different species of humans. That's bullshit. That's outside of science. Scientifically, it's been proven. The earth is round. Okay? Cut it out. The earth is round. There's only one race. That's the human race. Cut it out. See, objective thinking is what we need to get back to, become scientists. You see a horse, a female horse, and a donkey can mate with each other, although they're two different species. But they only make a mule. When they make that mule, that mule cannot reproduce because they're from two different species and it's two different sets of chromosomes. So the, the way nature has it designed is that two species, even if they have a baby, that baby is still sterile. It cannot make another baby. So if we were two different species or we were different species, we would not be able to mate with each other and still reproduce. This is facts. Cut it out. Wake up. That'll be my next video. Recessive and dominating genes. One humanity. That'll be the next download. But for today, we're going to get right back in the subject. Slavery. I just want you to know I'm from where you're from. And I rose above that. And I got out of that mind state. 
And I'm praying that you get out of these programs too. These, these are outdated programs that you must raise above. These are obstacles within your astrological program we all must overcome. Now, love. What is love? Love, everybody has a definition from love. But the true definition of love is not a fa-la-la-la-la thing. Love is understanding. For without understanding, there is no love. Love is complete balance. Love with God is love. Love is complete balance of masculine, feminine energy, complete organic information and harmony with the universe. This is love. Love is understanding. Repeat after me. Love is understanding. Love, love is understanding. understanding. Love is understanding. Love, love is understanding. understanding. Okay. With that being said, always remember that. Always remember when you hear love, always relate it to understanding. When someone says, I love you, what, what should you hear? I love you. When someone says, I love you, what should you hear? I understand you. I understand you. Oh, I love you. But I ain't, you know, you don't understand who I am. Mm -hmm. Always equate the word love with understanding. When you hear love, immediately uh, make, reprogram your brain to hear understanding. Oh, I love this. Understanding. Do you understand it? How well do you understand it? Because love is God and God is consciousness. How conscious are we? How much love do we have? Because love has levels. Just like consciousness has levels. Because God is love and love is consciousness and consciousness is understanding. How aware, well, let's just put awareness. Awareness, understanding. How much love do you have? How much understanding do you have? So for now on, when someone says love, what should you hear? Understanding. Understand. 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 When you hear love, every program yourself and watch what happens. When you replace the word love with understand, watch what happens. What you do is you break down what people are really saying and how they abuse the word. But if you truly put it into context, then therefore it becomes a mathematical equation of what's truth and lies. When someone says they love you, that must mean they what? Understand. understand. To understand someone means you what? Love them. You know them. Right? If someone says to understand is to be aware is to know. If someone says they love you, that means they know you. To know you is to love you. To know you is to understand you. To know you is to be aware of what you are and who you are. But what if somebody only loves you through the perception of what they think they are? The plot gets thicker. Love is a loaded gun. Let's unload it. Dissemble it. Let's break it down. What is love? Love is knowing, knowledge, awareness, understanding, God, balance, truth, complete or incomplete because love has levels, because awareness, understanding has levels, awareness has levels, knowledge has levels, so does love. Love has levels. So someone can love you just as much as they love themselves. Someone can only understand you as much as they understand themselves. themselves. Someone can be aware of what you are as much as they are aware of what they are. Someone can only know what you are as much as they know what they are. Mm. Mm. You see? Always break the word down to what it really is. Love is consciousness. Consciousness has levels. So when you hear someone say, I love you, what you really need to analyze is, do you love me? Oh, your love is conditioned by what? Your awareness of your own self. Because people are only loving or understanding you from their own perception. So how much they perceive themselves, can they even perceive you? This is why it is essential Right? The 
Kyle Harris. To know thyself. That is the key to the kingdom of God. Knowledge of self is the keys to the kingdom. The more you, this is how you get to the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is where? Within you. If you know thyself, then you, will, then you will enter the kingdom of God, which is yourself. When you know yourself, then you will know life. Then you will know God because you are God. But you must find that within your own self. And guess what? Your whole life is a projection of what? Your mind. So you find that through this existence. You find yourself. You know yourself. And that's what life is about, right? Teaching you knowledge of self. Whether you resist that or you receive it well. All life lessons from you going to work, living in Babylon. Babylon is here for those to teach Babylon, to teach people that are in their lower self. Babylon is powered by Babylonian people, lower self, and people that vibrate in their lower self create and govern them own, their own selves. It creates itself. You must graduate this level of understanding to come into the, to the knowledge of self, to come into the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God meaning that you sit in the throne of God of understanding I am. When you sit there, that is not just talking about it, that is an action. This is what love is. And it all comes full circle. The true meaning of love is understanding, awareness, knowledge, consciousness. How conscious are you about somebody else? Just as well as you are conscious about yourself. So the more you know yourself, the more you understand others. The more you love yourself, which is understanding, the more you love another. You cannot love someone else if you do not love yourself. You cannot know anyone else if you do not know who you are. And who you are is only a reflection of what you think someone else is. <sighs> Why? Because your perception is your reception. is who you think you are. So life is not... What you think it is, is what you think you are. It's what you perceive as yourself. It's a reflection and refraction of yourself to yourself. And until you understand this, you will never know what God is. Why is this important when it comes to slavery? Well, first of all, what is a slave? Slavery, slave, is a servant, should I say, To be a slave is to be a servant, to be of service to something. Mm -hmm. To be a slave is to be a, of service to something. Say with me, a slave is a, to be of service of something. A slave, slave is to, is to be, be of service of something. something. It's a servant, that's what a slave is. That's all. That's today's lesson. <laughs> you can all go. Today's slavery one-on-one. Slave is to be a service to something. It's a servant. That's what a slave is. It's a servant. To serve is to perform duties for, right? Mm -hmm. To serve is to perform Duties for. Service to what? Perform duties for. To, to serve, serve is to what? To perform, perform duties, duties for. for. Perform duties for. That's what it means. So a slave is someone that, that performs duties for. Something or someone. But a slave to what? Aren't we all serving something? Aren't we all slaves? Aren't we all here to be of service to self? But what part of yourself is the question, huh? Most people look at slaves as someone that's a, ser a, a servant for the lower self that works for free, works for nothing. Oh, but it's not free. So a slave is someone that was captivated or captured or used as own, as property, right? And, and the meaning of today's language, a slave is someone that we think of that is used 
as property to do something or, or be a servant for nothing, for nothing in return. That's not what a slave is. That's just one, that's an additive, an adjective of what a slave is. An adjective is something that describes the word or in one context of the word, but this word, the root of the word slavery has nothing to do with what we think of as slavery and that's the problem. Because what we see going on in Libya right now, we call it slavery. But we do not look at what's going on in Babylon as slavery. Hmm. You go to work every day and you do not think that you're a slave. You think that you're not a slave as long as you get paid for what you do. Then you call yourself an employee. Hmm. No, to serve, to be a servant, is to perform duties for. I don't give a fuck if it's for money, Love, uh, food, shelter. You're performing a duty for, so therefore you are serving someone, so therefore you are a servant, therefore you are a slave. Look up the word. The basis of the word, slave, is a servant. Performs duties for something. This why, this is why you can be a servant for your higher self. You can be a, you will always be a slave. You will, you are here to be a servant of service. You could be a slave to for love. You can serve love and understanding and awareness and consciousness as Melanation does. Every day I get up and I serve you. I serve you with knowledge, understanding, and my wisdom and what I come to give. We are open to donations because that's this is I don't go, I don't work for the devil. I work for God, the unknown, the unseen, as far as we have it. So therefore, if someone wishes to have it on their heart to send money, then that's it. But I get up every day and I work for love and serve love and I would do it for free and I do it for free. Period. But I do get paid. My pay is, I get my shelter, I get my food, I get my necessities, but the biggest pay I get is the fact that I got it out of me and I spread. And the biggest pay I get is when someone hits me up and say, man, you changed my life. Man, your, your thoughts really opened my mind. You, you activated me. That's my biggest pay is that I helped another, that I serve my, human, my, my humankind, my, my brother. I got up today and I did something. I made some kind of change. That's my pay. That's what makes me feel alive more than any material thing could ever give me. Other than food, because you need food to make you feel alive. <laughs> and the sound and all, all of nature, uh, obviously. But slavery, everyone is a slave. Everyone is of service. You cannot escape slavery. Now, it's to... It's a service to something. Now, they'll, and, and you, they'll give you an adjective of slavery, which is something that we collectively uh, made the definition of as an, of, an, of an expression of slavery, which would mean, um, which would basically be someone that is working through oppression, someone that's working for free, someone that has been captivated and possessed and used as possession and property. But aren't we all? Aren't we all somebody's property? Don't you have a social security number and a birth certificate? Don't you serve a system in their agenda? A country, corporation? You clock in like a cow with a number on its ear. You are serving some kind of purpose with your life. Even though you might look at, not look at the details of what the agenda of the corporation that you work for because you're so busy of surviving and performing duties for money and, 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 and shelter and food, that you're not even thinking about what you're serving because you're so busy serving, you think, you're just thinking about yourself and you're serving yourself. Meanwhile, you're not realizing that you are actually a slave of something that is built on self-hate. Now let's look up the word hate. 
What does the word hate mean? We know what love is, right? Love is understanding, love is awareness, love is consciousness, love is to know, knowledge, and love has many levels, because consciousness has many levels. How conscious are we? How much do you love me, baby? You love me? How much do you love me? How much do you know me? Or does your knowledge of me, is your knowledge of me limited by the knowledge of you? Perhaps your knowledge of me is limited by the knowledge of what you have of your own self. Maybe that's our problem. Maybe my problem is my knowledge of you is limited by the knowledge I understand within my own self about my own self. This is why I can't be around anybody but divine beings. Because if I'm around anybody else, we're not going to get along. Because I'm such an open-minded person that closed-minded people, we can never get along. Because your closed mind is going to limit your view of me. My open mind is always going to be open to what you have to say and I become a sucker and you keep beat up on me and I, 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 it's an abusive relationship. So, so therefore, I choose not to deal with people that don't have knowledge of self. They're dangerous not only to themselves, but to others. And so therefore, on my platform, all I do is put out knowledge of self. So therefore, people that are willing to vibrate to it, to collect information of knowledge of self, can consider it. Consider it. Now, what is hate? Hate is an intense or passionate dislike. It's a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding is this, remember love and hate. Love is understanding. Hate is an intense, passionate dislike. So me personally, I've grown up in a world within a community with under the, under the philosophies and doctrine, and doctrine of self-hate. This is the slavery that we're talking about. The slavery, the servants. We serve our lower self. Let me, let me just put this up. Now, y'all know what slavery is. It's to be of service to something, right? Mm -hmm. Slave is to be of service to something. To serve is to, to perform duties. Now, you have higher self. Let me explain how we spell self here in Melanie Nation real quick. Just a brief. We spell self like this because the body is a cell made up of many other cells. And so we... Spell cell like this, C-E-L-L-F. It's just a reminder subconsciously of biology, how we need to be biologists, that we're cells. And I love myself. It's just a plain showing you that you have a responsibility. You're a community of cells, and you must take care of your community of cells first. That means you have to take this. People, so many people say, I want to look out for my community. Well, if you want to look out for your community, look out for yourself. And all your cells, because your cells are a community. You're actually a community of cells. If you take care of this self, your actions alone will help everything external. Because you're going to eat better. You're going to sleep right. You're not going to be involved with the toxification of things because you don't, you're not a toxification person. You don't want to be around them. You don't want to give your body that. So what you're going to find yourself is away from society. You're going to be away from cities. And with that alone, if you are speaking about it, living about it, you'll be an example just by your actions, just by your thoughts. And your thoughts usually come out in conversation. And before you know it, you might have a social media. And all your social media, you'll show your media and you'll express yourself on your media. And with you expressing yourself on your media, you are being the change, speaking the change, living the change. And so therefore, you are now making the community a better place. Sometimes to make the community a better place, you need not to be a part of that community mm -hmm. because it shouldn't exist. But anyway, so you're a cell made up of many selves. And so your first community to take care of is self. Okay, so let me just erase this real quick. Here we have Okay, lower self. And then we have higher self. You're going to either be a slave to one or the other. Remember, a slave is what? A servant mm -hmm. to something, right? And what is a servant? To perform duties for. That's what it means to serve, to perform duties for. So slave of the lower self 
lives in hate, or should we say, self-hate. We're going to put under here. They live within, they live backwards, evil, to live backwards. They live within self-hate, which is what? Self-misunderstanding, mm -hmm. okay? They do not understand self. This is the world that you were born into. You logged into a world that are slaves of the lower self. They serve, they serve to be a slave is to serve, or should I say, perform duties Oh, this video gonna get deep. Mm. Perform duties for. You serve your lower self, which is self-hate. Self-hate comes from misunderstanding. Genetically modified information. Misunderstanding. When you serve in your higher self, you are living, you are living, not only living life, but you are life, okay? This is called the devil. This is what we equivalent to the devil, and this is what we equivalent to God, even though God is both, okay? God is both polarities. It could, nothing can exist that can exist without God, without thought. So even the thoughts that go against God is God. It's just thoughts that go against God to serve as something, as an example of what happens when you go against the higher self of God. When you don't live in tune with your higher self, with complete love, understanding, awareness, and knowledge, this and all that happens over here in the evil, which you would call hell, hell, this would be hell, this would be heaven. Complete love and understanding, okay? And then you are living, so we have here, life, okay? And this is Self love, which is what? What is love? Understanding. Understanding. Divine understanding. Because this is a form of understanding, it's called misunderstanding. To understand is to comprehend. But how much do you comprehend? At what level, what frequency? And this all has to do with frequency. You see? You can vibrate to a higher frequency. You, it's a spectrum. There's a spectrum between good, which you would call good, and evil. This would be good, and this would be evil. And this is a scale, it's a spectrum between good and evil. Okay? Your job is to make it to the higher self, and to vibrate and live there and earn the right to become God. To become God, which you already are, to understand and feel lies and join the flame of life, living. Here, we are living there. This is life. This is death. The living dead. You're living, but you're dead. This is true death, to live against life, evil. And there's a spectrum between here, because there's a spectrum of love, right? of understanding, of awareness, of consciousness. There's a spectrum between love and hate. Lower self, higher self. Love, hate, lower self, higher self. Consciousness, unconscious. You become conscious. The more you understand who you are, the more you understand life, the more you understand what this means and that means, and the more conscious you become, the more loving you become, the more understanding you become, the more aware, conscious, more knowing you become, the more love, the more God, the more higher self, the more self-love there will be. Hmm? And then you will be a slave of that. Here I am, a slave every day I get up and I'm of service to you. But I'm happy to do it. I don't get up and work for a check. I don't get up and work for a system of self-hate. I get up every day and I work for my higher self. Spreading self-love, which is self-understanding, knowledge of self, the kingdom of God, 
proclaiming the kingdom of God, which is proclaiming knowledge of self, true divine knowledge of self. Just putting it on my social media. That's it. I'm not forcing information on anyone. I'm simply expressing the truth on my page. That's it. You either vibrate to it or you don't. But you're not ready, you're not ready. You ready? Cool. But let's get ready to go deep. Now, who created slavery? I'm gonna tell you who created slavery. There's something called, we, we like, we, we have this thing right now in the, in, the, in, the, in the so called conscious community. It's funny they call it the conscious community, but the conscious community is not very conscious. And I think that the more you become conscious, the more you realize that the so-called conscious community is not very conscious. It's really vibrating at a frequency of hate. Mm -hmm. It's vibrating at a frequency of evil. The frequency is not of true, true love, understanding, awareness, objective. There's a subjective thoughts, a lot of subjective thoughts going on there. So it's vibrating at a, a self-hate. Of misunderstandings many many misunderstandings so today I wanted to talk to you about black people in slavery we say that uh, the white man came along the European came out of uh, the Caucasus Mountains and came and snatched us and kidnapped us out of those uh, mountains that came down and kidnapped us and made us slaves. Oh, bullshit! Ah, all right. I'm allergic to bullshit. Right? Bullshit. For anybody to be a slave, they must be trained and you must make a slave. You are born with the intuitive knowledge of self. If nobody ever taught you anything, you would know and be God. Why? Because you are born with an intuitive information that allows you to understand what you are and what life is. If no one ever told you about what life is, your astrological programming would figure things out with what you thought they were. You would name it and you would say that's that and you would be very intelligent. You would be very, very intelligent. But to make a slave for the lower self, you must keep it from educating about what it is and un ever understanding what it is. It must experience much abuse. It must experience evil. People were kept from the knowledge of self in Africa. I am a king. Melanation is my people. Somebody comes down and I sell them off. I have so many people, I start, and they're serving me and I'm serving them as their leader. I'm serving them, they're serving me, and then I sell them for goods. I trade them for goods. Really? Think about this reflection. Someone said to me that white people are the problem. They're the problem, man. White people are the problem. No, white people aren't the problem. You're the problem. We're the problem. You have no external enemy reflection. You can't be a slave unless you are uneducated of knowledge of self. This is why they kept the, the so-called slaves of those days, the, the slaves and the, the slaves of the lower self. They kept them uneducated. All that they knew was serve, serve, be of service, be of service, shut up and do what I tell you to do. Whipped into that mind frame. So you have millions of slaves getting on a boat, which which that doesn't even sound right as it is as it is. Then there's another aspect where the Moors say that they taught them how to be civil. They taught the Caucasian how to be civil and all the laws and everything. We continue to point the finger and here is the trap of the so-called conscious community. The lack of responsibility. Okay, the ability to respond. 
We lack the ability to respond objectively to our so-called enemy. If we had knowledge of self, we would know that all is us and, all, and everything is you. Everything is us. Everything come from us. Everything is us. Everything is our fault. Black people is the cause of slavery. Of today's slavery. Black people are the head of white supremacy. Uh, uh, white, white people aren't even the head of white supremacy. Black people are. At the head of white supremacy is an African. Quote it. Africa is the head of white supremacy. Of self hate. It's not white supremacy because there's nothing supreme about what they're doing. There's nothing supreme about it. But let's stop calling it white supremacy and just call it what it is. Self-hatred. We hate ourselves so much. And you could be like, well, who taught us to hate ourselves, nature boy? They taught us to hate ourselves. Nah, nigga, you taught yourself how to hate yourself. Your mama taught you how to hate yourself. Well, who taught your mama how to hate herself? A slave master? Well, who taught the slave master how to treat the slave? Who, who sold the, the, the slave to the slave master? See, you believe that the slave master actually came with some guns and, 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 and stole these slaves. No. No, man. That's not even what's happening in Libya. See, what the media shows you and what the books have in them is all that you know. And that's what you condition now. But you have to use your heart to understand. It's right in front of you. The past, future, and present. All the answers are in front of you. We're doing it to ourselves. What's happening in Libya right now is happening by black people. What you see in the media is Arabs with guns to their head. That's just what they show you. That ain't what's behind the scenes. Black people are doing black people like that because of self-hate. Why didn't Africa do anything when they heard about everything that's happening to black people all these years? Because they sold your ass off, bro. We sold ourselves off. That is the bare naked truth. We did it to ourselves. And to this day, we're still doing it to ourselves. We don't love ourselves. We have a self hate for ourselves embedded in us look at the psychology of the kids come on you've seen the video point to the ugly doll point to the bad doll it's installed not only in us but they only treat us they right the lower self treats us like that because we allow them to treat us like that no one can do something to you that you don't allow we taught them how to hate us. We taught them how to beat us. We taught them how to treat us the way. And under, everything that happened to us, we did it to ourselves. And until we come to this consciousness, we will never be free. Because we'll never take responsibility. That means we'll never respond to it. We'll never be able to correctly and objectively, objectively respond to it anything that happens to us because we don't have knowledge of self because we don't have love in our hearts because we are uneducated about what we are we are misinformed about what we are and so anytime you create an external enemy you have already lost the war you are your own enemy each and every one of us must pick up our cross and go study our own selves. You are not a part of a group. You are not a part of a group. Say, I am not a part of a group. I am not a part of a group. I am me. I am me. I am a special character of God. I am a special character of God. I must study what God is, and then I must understand my character. So that I can understand my reflection that I'm receiving as a perception of my reality. I must understand what God is first. Then understand my character, which is a piece of God. Then understand my projection. Which is my projection is what? 
coming from my character. My character gives me a projection of myself through my astrological program, so I must study astrology. I have to get my natal chart done. I have to understand the stars. Each and every one of us must have knowledge of self. True divine knowledge, objective fact. We must, we must not just buy into a teacher because the teacher has, is, it has charm and charisma. No, fuck that. You must go do studying yourself. Study. We must break these things down to a molecule so that we can completely understand them and it's without a doubt facts. Then we know that it's true. The truth is today, Black Friday just passed. You think black people seeing hidden colors? Don't you think they understand that the Bible wasn't real and Jesus ain't real and all of that stuff? That stuff is out there already. Well, people will say, well, it's been 400 years of bullshit. Bullshit. You wasn't born into slavery. You got the opportunity to get out. You got the, oppor you got the opportunity to make things right. But you choose to go back into slavery and live in that moment and then throw that hate from that moment for revenge. You took the, you did the whole thing to yourself. You choose to hate. You was pro, you didn't, you wasn't born with that hate in you. You was programmed to that. Cause you were ill responsible. Meaning that once you seen what had happened to your ancestors, your response was, was irresponsible. It was based in self-hate. Anytime opponent, it's not about what someone does to you, it's about what you respond to. This is all in Tai Chi, this is all in understanding energy, it's, it's all in chess. It's not what's done to you, it's how you respond to it. This is what Martin Luther King was saying, we cannot put out hate with hate. You cannot put out darkness with darkness. Only light can do that. Only love can put out hate, misunderstanding. Only understanding can heal misunderstanding. But because we're, we're, we're irresponsible, we don't have the ability to respond because we don't have the education or knowledge of self built and installed in us because we have fucked up astrological programmings. When something happens to us, we respond. Your response says everything about who you are. Remember, everything is a reflection and refraction of yourself, even your reality. Here I am, born in this reality, and I've seen what they did. I have a total different response. My response is to say, damn, that's fucked up what they do to slavery. And slavery wasn't only done to so-called colored folks, it was done to the Jews. Slavery was done to humans and plants and animals. Look at what they're doing to the animals. Nobody even talks about marijuana. Look at what the, how they abuse in marijuana. They're doing the same thing in marijuana they did to motherfucking humans. Look how they do to animals. These are all life forms and they're all enslaved and they're all been done dirty. But nobody wants to look at that because everybody wants to have a pity party about their motherfucking self instead of taking responsibility and being able to respond objectively to an attack. Because we are uneducated with self-hate. We would rather point the finger than look at self and say, you know what? I'm responsible for my ancestors because I am my ancestors. Oh, we would rather build an altar, light candles, chant an unknown seen thing, Rather than understand the true altar is the body. And all your ancestrals are here in your DNA. We would rather feed them food on an idolized altar than put the food in our body. To activate the DNA so that ancestral genes can be activated so they can live and spiritually their energy can come through us. Because we don't understand self. We don't understand self. We don't understand voodoo. 
We don't understand energy. We don't understand none of it. We're fiddling around, thinking we know what we're talking about, but we don't understand there's no objective facts behind what the hell we're doing. And I refuse to sit by and watch it. Not as long as I got a social media and I got a voice, I'm gonna speak about truth. Don't be building no goddamn external altar reflection. Your body is a temple. Your heart is its altar. Your cells are your ancestral, are your ancestors reflection. You wanna get in tune with your ancestors? Go out into nature and let that sun activate themselves, ancestrials. Go eat from the earth, live close to the sun, be around natural water, go to the tropics and see if you can get in touch with the ancestors. Energy is not destroyed, it is only transformed from one form to the other. How can it take form in you? when you're not vibrating at the frequency of the ancestors. Mm. You're not eating like the ancestors. You are not living like the ancestors, yet you think you can make an altar to get in touch with the ancestors. Shame on you for being irresponsible, irresponsible, lost, not taking responsibility for your own actions. We are the ancestors. What have been done, you are here to heal. You are here to become smarter. You are here to overcome your oppressor, which is yourself, which is nothing but a reflection of yourself. All Caucasian people out here destroying the planet, before they can manifest into a physical form, you better believe there was a thought in your mind first, black man. Anything on this earth, destroying this earth, was a thought first. And it manifested into a physical being. And it came from you. And it would only be destroyed by you. And I'm not talking about the way they destroy. The greatest defense is what? No defense at all. So I'm giving you the blueprint. You want to destroy your enemy? Destroy it. Anything in you unpure, any thought unpure, any hate in yourself, if you destroy that and within you, then the external world will change. And each and every one of you are not just a drop in the ocean. Everything you do affects everything. It's like the butterfly effect. Your simple actions change everything. Whether you realize it or not, you are not one human in this world. You are the whole world in one human projection. So you have the power to change things with just you. Yeah, you, just you, you. Your little self, little old you. You must change the way you think. You must stop being a slave to your lower self. Every day you go work for a system. That's just you must not hate your enemy. You must love your enemy. What is it love? Understanding. Sound off. What is love? Understanding. What is love? Understanding. Understanding. You must love your enemy, not hate. You must not dislike because dislike comes from misunderstanding and dislike and misunderstanding is ignorance. You are highly intelligent beings. Your melanin, your carbon makes you the universe. The universe is the highest vibration of, of intelligence. You are using this battery to intelligent, to, to, um, to, uh, for the intel of negative. Or should I say hate, self-hate, what goes against its own self. It's called evil. To live backwards is to go against your own creation. You are the universe going against the universe, supporting a system that is going against the universe. You even manifested yourself outside of yourself as a Caucasian or someone less melanated or carbonated to be an example of what not to do right in front of you, but you still want to have equal rights to something that you are greater than. You still want to be them. You still want to look like them and act like them and talk like them and be like them, but Nature Boy and Melanation is here to show you what you truly are because you don't even know your options. 
The greatest thing you think you could be is to put on a suit and tie and cut your hair and be like a white European man, your lower self. That's what your mother will tell you to do. Baby, get a good job. Go be a lawyer or a doctor. That's the only, that's the greatest of things that your mind has even went to. Why hasn't your mother told you to go to the jungle and be naked and run free? Why? Why didn't she tell you to go be God? Why did she tell you to go be a white man? Because of a misunderstanding, self-hate. Not knowing thyself. Knowledge of self. You must have knowledge of self. You must understand what you truly are. Here we are in the information age. We are given the ability, yet we are not responsible. We're not able to respond to even the ability that we are granted. We are not even able to respond to the information and even though we hate ourselves so much, we can't even receive divine information we hate ourselves so much. But you wanna be like LeBron James. You wanna be like Rick Ross. You wanna be a rapper. These rappers glorify Europeanism. In their mind, they're successful because they've got money and material things that were created by a European system and that's their epitome of success. What they don't show you is that they're unhappy. Success is becoming your highest self. God, and you have not been shown from people that come from where you come from a public example or given the option of or shown real woman living in a real environment, real humans, the way you're supposed to live. You have no examples in your so-called conscious community. No living Breathing, seeing example of how we should live. That's what melanation is. If you don't know nature, boy, for two years I lived in the jungle. I've taken baths in the river, shown you how you can go outside and get fruit and eat. I've shown you this. You can go to my Instagram and see. We're naked in the jungle, showing you here's another option. Here's what you should be doing. Here, you can do this. You don't got to be a rapper. You don't got to be a part of that whole system that you'll never be equal. You should never want to try to be equal to your lower self. For hundreds of years, we've been, we shall overcome. And then Martin Luther King said, I'm scared that I, I might have integrated my people into a burning house. Come on. Did he realize what was going on and then they killed him? Not saying to hate people. Don't hate, but understand. Understand that people that lack melanin are more liable to do corrupt shit. But does that mean everybody that lacks melanin? No. Nowadays, there's more melanated people violating the laws of God than people that lack the melanin. The you melanin. Because their neural melanin, which is their astrological energy, is a good one. And because it's a good one, they would rather die than live and be a part of the system. And they don't have the you melanin. They're divine beings in this form. We cannot just take the physical form as, oh, this person is good, this person is bad. Absolutely not. We hate white people. We hate an, an intense passion of dislike for what they're doing, what we don't even see. And I was talking to my brother, my divine brother, my reflection, uh, King Noble. Shout out to King Noble. I was talking to him another day, I said, and I think I, I, might, have, I might have made a point with him. I said to him, I said, brother, you say white supremacy. You say, yeah, the reason why we messed up is because the white man. I said, listen to me, brother, it's deeper than that. Your true enemy is hidden. You think your enemy is the Rothschilds? <laughs> you think your enemy is Illuminati? 
well, I want you to know the head of white supremacy lives in Africa, is a black man. The head of all of this is a black man. All of this can be stopped by a black man. Hmm. And see, at first, first, when you hear that, you, you, you take him back, but you know the first response, it hit, you know something about truth. When you hear it, it hits you right here. And um, when somebody's speaking truth, they lose friends because the truth hits a being right in the core. You can feel it in your bones. You don't need research. And in that moment, we, we then compute back to the brain. The brain computes back to its belief system and it starts juggling and saying, and then when it doesn't know how to respond, it stops for a minute and it goes back to its system. Well, da -da 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 -da, and it doesn't know how to really respond, so it just goes back to what it knows because it's new information. It's like, oh, yes. The head of white supremacy, Europe and all the countries that so-called rule, that you think rule, they do not rule. The head of it all is a black man. The devil lives in Africa. There, I said it. Did you hear me? Mm -hmm. The devil lives in Africa. The true Illuminati you do not see. You will never know your enemy. The, what, the faces that you see put out there, do you think the devil would allow himself to be exposed? Or itself to be exposed? No. Because it's hidden. Somewhere you would never find it. In you. Yes. At the head of all of hap what's happened to black people, it's the fault of black people. It was on the order of black people. Well, we're talking about what's happening in the dark, but nobody wants to talk about who, who turned off the light. <laughs> See, you think the Rothschilds, Illuminati, are doing this to you. The truth is, it's a black man. There's a black family, a royal family in Africa that's at the head of all of this. And they can stop it. They have the power to stop it all. But the spirit that lives in these beings, in this family, what a family that manifested, the Caucasian man, the Asian man, and every other infesting, genetically modified organism on this planet. They're their forefathers. All of them came from this family. This family is evil. Very evil. And they're black. I told you I was going to tell you some shit in this video. Never heard of that before, huh? Never thought of that. You think they would put themselves on the internet and let themselves be exposed? The prince. Queen Elizabeth. Look all scary. Ah, you believe it, don't you? You went for it. Mm -hmm. The devil's hiding. You'd never be able to see it. Because the devil has in your heart. not realizing it's yourself. I want you to take a good look around you. And you tell me, who are the most hateful people you know? Who are the most hateful people you know? Who has hurt you the worst in your whole life? And I don't want you to say, oh, well, they only hurt me because they were a, 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 a residual of what happened in slavery and they was miseducated by the, by the white man. And all the white man is just at the head of all of this self-hate. Bullshit! White man can't do shit without us. Oh, matter of fact, all of their money is powered by Africa. Well, that's what Gaddafi exposed, didn't he? <laughs> 
I guess she think Europeans killed Gaddafi too, huh? Yeah. Send this message to Farrakhan. Farrakhan, you're not fooling anybody. I love you, brother. You say a lot of wise things, but uh, you know damn well these black leaders in Africa is the reason why we fucked up. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Tell you the truth right now. Africa is the reason why we all fucked up. The leaders in Africa could stop all of this. They could turn the European countries into third world countries. Because they don't have no resources. None of them have any resources that back up their money. All of their resources are in Africa are on contracts with these royal families in Africa that hide. You'll never know them. Part of their contract is that they are carefully hidden from your understanding of who really behind all of this. See, everybody that you think that they exposed, that ain't the head. The devil living in Africa. Do what you want with that information. But each and every one of you need to get knowledge yourself. Stop putting yourself a part of a group until you understand and love yourself. I love myself. I know myself. I understand myself. I'm aware of who I am. I'm aware of myself. That's what I love myself as a channel. I understand myself. I love myself. I'm aware. The head of white supremacy is a black man. A black man. African. Self-hatred. Hates his own people. He doesn't look at you as anything but property if you're not his family. It looks at its own tribe and its family as family and everything else is just up for sales and grabs. Because it's the devil. It lives. It's a living dead. They eat people. You want to know who eat people? This family in Africa. Cannibalism. They eat them. See, we are just a residual of the leadership, just like any other company. Any other company, you walk in and the, and the employees are rude, it's because the head is rude. The business is no greater. You can't look at the business and say, oh, this is happening because the manager. The manager is over here. The white people ain't nothing but the manager. They are not the head of the corporations. Their money don't mean shit without the minerals and resources and Africa. And they ain't just going into Africa Take them what they want. Hell no. It's too many of us. You could fit all the other continents inside of Africa. I'd be a goddamn fool. They could. They have the weapons now. Let it be known. Self-hate. Self-hate. Rule slavery. Self hate. The way life bends at an angle to itself, back to itself, won't allow it to see and know that it is what it is. So it creates an illusion, a world of illusion. So when light bounces, here, 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 and here, by the time it reaches back to the, to, the, to, the, to the point of projection, the way it's perceived, this is all about astrology is about, the way it's perceived is with an illusion of its own self. It does not realize that that light that is bending back to itself is itself. This causes us to be able to do the most evil things. This is why astrology must be understood. Because, like I said, the way life bends and travels away from itself to only come back to itself and perceive itself, that other light that comes back because of the light that was traveling now appears to be different spectrums of light to the original point, which is God. So God beams a light out. That light bounces and refracts itself off of many different prisms and that light comes back it left white but it comes back green 
So this white light doesn't realize that it is the green light just refracting from different prisms of itself. And now when it comes back, it looks green. And that's how you are you and I am I. But the being that understands what it is know that it is all the colors. And it's not fooled by the bending of the light. This is why astrology must be studied. So when you see someone that's different from you, you know that is a reflection of you at a certain frequency and angle of light of your own self. So what happens when you see someone do something evil to you? Well, you have to be able to respond. It's called being responsible. A response are uh, able response able you're able to respond objectively now when that light bends back and it's green or say the light bend back and it's red and that red attacks you now if you have knowledge of yourself you do not respond with the same light back the, the light that's coming out of you is red coming at you is red this is your own self coming at you not knowing it is you it comes at you that response. This is what Tai Chi was about. Tai Chi is like, okay, so when it comes at me, I do not respond. I go with it. And then I turn that light back white. It's called alchemy. Turning hate into love. Misunderstanding into understanding. This is what a true God does. Because a God has knowledge, first of all, I'm all light. Therefore, this red light is a, just a, just a, just a speed speck of what I am. So therefore, the more I become self-aware, the more I become light, the more I become conscious, the more I become God, when that light refracts back to me and it's red, I'm not going to turn red to respond to that light. Because two red beings become one frequency of hate. More frequency of hate. But if I'm a white being and I remain white, even though the red is being beamed at me, because I, that red light is me, if I take that red light and remain who I am, boom, that red light must turn white. I think I made some sense there. Maybe. I don't know. Study astrology reflection. Knowledge of self. Love is what? Understanding. And hate is misunderstanding. To understand yourself is to become aware of yourself. And that has many conscious levels. We are becoming, we're learning how to love. Don't think of love as some romantic. That's a byproduct of love. Those are byproducts of love. Kindness, affection. Once you have understanding, then you can be kind. Once you have understanding, then you can be affectionate. Once you have understanding, then you can be patient. These are byproducts of understanding. Love is understanding. Once you understand, then you can... This is the essence of love. Without understanding, there's hate. The bending of light to itself to not allow it to see that it's itself will make the hate turn to hate. And it said, and it's written, he that angers you, conquers you. So if someone, res someone attacks you, your response says everything about what you are. It says it's being recorded into the Kashyyyk records. The universe doesn't care about what happened to you. It cares about your response to what happened to you. And we must start to respond like we're able to be gods. You are responsible for your ancestors' mistakes. Your ancestors have you, which is your past self, when your past, present, and future is happening at the same time. So when you're looking at uh, history, you're looking at your past. Okay, so we see the past. You study the past to understand the present, to create the future. Once you understand what's going on in the present, because you understand what your mistakes, the past is for observation. Sit, reserve, reflect on the past. We look at the past with understanding. We bring that into the future to create understanding, to create a brighter future. We cannot do the same things expecting different results. We have yet, we have yet to go back to our natural state. And that's where it's going to have to go. You're going to get down, lay down. Reflection, this has been my download for today. Upload it and download it into your life. I love myself. Reflection. Peace.